well, it's time for us to take advantage of the power in pre-selection. So what I'm going to do is I want to be able to trim all of these by selecting all my edges before I start the trim command. So I'm going to move my mouse like right here. Just pick this point in empty space. And I'm going to drag my selection window to the upper left-hand corner. And notice it'll select everything. Now manually, I'm going to select this edge here and this far right edge. And you'll see why in just a second. Here's my point. Don't be afraid to pick additional objects that maybe you don't have any intentions to using as a cutting edge, but you might need it as an extension or an edge you want to extend to. So I'm going to come up here to my modify tool and I'm going to select the trim command. Now, if I hold the shift key down and select a line segment, can you see what happened? It actually extend, extended it to the very first edge. In fact, using a selection window, I can select all of my lines at one time and notice it'll extend it. Now, holding down the shift key, let's go ahead and use the selection window again, and we'll go ahead and identify all of these line segments. And now it extended it to my second edge I selected along the edge. If I release the shift key now, uh, I'm going to trim off the axis I don't need anymore. So you can see by pre-selecting these two edges, I was able to extend it beyond the first edge to the second, but then use the first edge as a cutting edge. Now let's go back. I'm going to pick all of my circles. Now these are going to become arcs. And then very carefully, I'm going to select the edges that I need to get rid of. And just like that, I was able to produce this widget profile. Now, in another tip, we're going to show you how to clean up the edges on the right.